So in this Annex workspace, we have two libraries. I group them under that shared folder, and they are somehow meant to be our shared components across the entire monorepo, some kind of design system, if you want. And what I have used here, I've used the Annex Storybook support, which allows us to launch each of those libraries inside Storybook and to develop them individually. So for instance, we can say yarn annex run, and let's say shared UI date picker storybook. This will now compile the library and it will launch storybook. Now, if you go to 4,400, you can see how storybook launches and shows our date picker component. Now, obviously this is just a mock component to show how it would work. The same thing is done also for UI Greeter. And now this is very powerful and very interesting, especially because for each of those also a shared Cypress and to end test gets generated. And so they can even be tested individually based on the storybook. However, you would also like to have them all visible together in one single storybook. This would be very handy because then we could have one storybook and browse all the components that are available in our monorepo. Now there's a neat little trick on how we can achieve that. First of all, let's generate a new library under that shared folder. And I'm using NX console for doing that. And so I create a new Angular library. I call it storybook. For the directory, I place it under the shared folder. And the other options, I can leave them just as they are. We can use CSS. It doesn't actually matter because we won't use those functionalities. So now let's go back. We can now see that we got that short storybook. Now we also want to add storybook support similar to what we have inside here. And so again, I use NX console. I say storybook and I will use the Angular storybook configuration. I give it a library name. Now the library name would be that shared storybook. I don't want to use Cypress here. I don't want to generate any stories or any specs because the purpose of this library here is just to bundle all other storybooks which we have here. So again, let's generate that. And so what happened now is that we got that storybook folder in here. Now, if we open up that storybook folder and look at it more closely, we can see that there is a configuration in here, which goes and searches for those stories. Now the search path here is just within that same library because that's the normal default setup, right? It searches within that source library and all stories that are inside here. However, what we wanna do here is we wanna group and search for all stories inside that shared one. And so instead of going in here, we can just do like navigate outside two levels up. And now with that, basically we can start and launch that storybook. So we can do yarn annex run shared storybook. Now, if you go again to our 4,400 path here, you can now see that we got all of the components. So basically we can now see the date picker. We can see the reader component. We can also search through them. And this was basically achieved by just generating a new library here and adjusting here that search path, which now goes up and searches within the entire shared part here. Now, obviously there are some further files that got generated because we generated an Angular library and you can obviously go here and remove them because they are not needed actually in that library. So the only purpose of that storybook library here is just to bundle and have a shared storybook setup.